Pull her tail, Jack. Pull her tail. Pull her tail. <laughs> I did it guys. I made 50 vlogs. I was thinking of doing something special like 50 of bunch of stuff, push-ups, eating Oreos, 50 Oreos, that sort of thing, but ran out of ideas, didn't pull through with any of them, and had a bunch of other stuff to vlog about. So basically the only thing that's going to change is how I do my vlogs. So already you've seen the new intro and I will become more advanced with my filming skills. I'm going to be getting a stabilizer for both my phone and my GoPro. Yeah, that's about it for changes. Maybe there'll be other stuff, but I'm losing faith in this channel. So if you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button and Give this video a like, that would help me a lot. And there's plenty of more cool stuff to come, so any support helps. I've made an oath not to be those people who are like, subscribe and like every single video. I was like, is that some psychological thing? Telling them to do that will make them do that? I don't know. So that's my attempt. Anyways, enjoy the vlog. I don't start work till April 14th, and that's a couple weeks from now just over two weeks, so just trying to find things around the house to do until then. And today I'm going to be fixing our piano. In case you've never seen the inside of the piano, this is what it looks like. This is one of the vertical pianos, which is more typical than a grand, which is the big curvy one that you see in huge concerts and stuff. But uh, you hit the keys down here, it lifts up there, then a little hammer strikes the wires. Well, we have two keys that are broken. They've been broken for a long time and I've tried to fix them before, but this time I have a whole bunch of tools that I can use. This piano my dad got 50 years ago. He was seven at the time when his family got it, so it's quite old. But I looked at the company, uh, and they even have their own website and they still make pianos. Pretty cool. Nothing like this, though. They have, like, special concert series and stuff now. So anyways, that's that. Let's see how this goes. And there's a dog sitting on a couch. Well, here it is. As far in as I can get. <clears throat> Got the two ones I just fixed here. Got parts scattered everywhere. We're missing a leg. Because I had to get to here. So, there's just a leg sitting there. This thing, I don't even think, needs both its front legs. There's just so much weight in the back. But anyways, let's play through what I know and see how it does. I did it. The piano has no legs on the front and is still holding up. This could literally keep him busy all day, now that I have it taped up. 
If you bump into something, it turns until it's no longer bumping into it. And it goes in circles. This is my new method of walking the dogs. It gives them a little bit of free room, but they can't go too far. Because they're dogs, they aren't too smart. So if they take off somewhere, they're definitely gonna, at one point, go around opposite sides of a tree. And because they're tied together, they won't be able to go any further. So I'll be, to catch up, be able to catch up to them. What do you have in your mouth, Jack? Don't eat acorns, they're poisonous. Today is April 2nd. April Fools, it's actually April 1st. It's been spring for a while now, but this happened last night. Look at that. Truck has a tree on it. Anyways, what I'm gonna do first is find a tree, stand under it, and have it knock all its snow onto me. This looks like a good one over here. This is really thick snow. I was gonna snow blow today, but that's gonna be an issue. I think instead I'll build a snowman. You can see the deer have already been out. Enter slow mo mode. That was fun. I think I'm gonna put some snow pants on and build a snowman. Enter time-lapse mode. Mm -hmm. 